This new VPS trick is going to change the VPS community for a long time and make things better for everyone. Hey guys, it's Foxy and I hope you've been all doing well. I'm back for a video that you've been waiting for. Today, we're going to talk about a super cool way to get a free server with 96 cores. You heard me well, 96 cores, 340GB of usable RAM and 220GB of disk space that works perfectly. It sounds awesome, right? Well, stay tuned because I will show you how to do it and to be able to access the server step by step. Before we jump in, let me quickly mention something important. This VPS service is free, but it's not meant to be abused. You shouldn't use it for things such as mining cryptocurrency or any illegal activities. I won't go more into the details because of copyright and strikes, but I want to be clear. I'm not encouraging anyone to use this for things that are not supposed to, because everyone deserves a fair shot at using their services, so let's not ruin it for others. Be cool, don't be the bad guy. Alright, so let's get into it. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a server, connect it to SSHX, and then I will reveal you this magic trick that will let you boost your server power to get that amazing 96 core machine. But you'll need to stay until the end and follow all the rules because if not, you're just going to miss out and you're going to rewatch it, you're going to lose time, and we don't want that. Alright, so let's get started with our setup process. First, open your preferred web browser. It can be Chrome, Firefox, Edge, whatever you like to use. Once you've opened your browser, go ahead and type collab.google.com into the address bar and hit enter. Now, hang in there with me, because I know that the most standard Google Collab setups, you're not going to be able to access the insane specs I've mentioned earlier, like the 96 cores or the 340 gigabytes of RAM. But well, don't worry, there is a way to change that and I'm going to show you exactly how. If you aren't already logged into your Google account, you'll be prompted to do so here. If you don't have an account already, no problem, it's completely free. And setting up one is quick and easy, just follow the instructions to sign up. And once you're logged in, you'll be directed to the main Google Collab page. This page should look like a simple dashboard with a few options, but don't let that fool you. We are about to unlock some serious power from this platform. Once you're on the collab page, your next step is to click on the code button, which you will see in the middle of the screen or on the top or towards the top, depending on how your browser is laid out. After clicking, a code cell will appear and this, will, this is where the magic happens. Now, don't worry if this looks a little bit intimidating, it's really straightforward and I'm going to guide you through it. You should see something like a text box where you can enter some code. Now. Here's the important part. The code you will need will be available in the description box of this video. So simply to go down to the description box and simply copy the code from there and paste it into this code cell in Collab. Once you've pasted the code, you can press on your keyboard con control plus enter on your keyboard, or if you simply prefer, just click on the play button that's on the left side of the code cell. After a few seconds, your server should start to initialize and you should receive a message confirming that the server has launched successfully. If you reach this point, congratulations, you've just added SSHX to your Google Collab server. And now we can see if everything is working as it should. To do that, go ahead and right click on the SSHX.io link that appears in your Collab terminal input, output, and then select open in a new tab. This will bring you to a new window where you will see a login screen of sorts asking you for a nickname. Just put whatever suits you and after you want to click that plus button that should be laid out on top. Once you're in, you're going to have a terminal that will appear up and you will be able to do apt install. It's, it's an overall root access that you'll get out of this server. So I'm going to install NeoFetch for the purpose of this video so we can see the system specs. You can of course install anything that is legal and following the um, terms of service of uh, Google Collab. Of course, don't use it for any bad things. 
uh, as you can see the NeoFetch is installed as you can see I only have two cores and 12 gigabytes of RAM which is still good but not what we're aiming for if I, have, if I left it like that that it would be clickbait but I'm not but I'm not about that so let's move on to the next step and upgrade the server so so that we can get the full 96 core 340 gigabyte RAM setup I promised so to get started with the upgrade let's head back to to get started with your upgrade let's head back over to your google collab tab in the right in the top right corner of your screen just above the code cell you should see some graphs showing the current usage of your ram and your disk next to those graphs there is a small arrow click on that this will open a menu with a few more options from there select modify runtime type it should be different in every language, but in English, it should look something like that. Here is where the magic happens. You will now see a screen that gives you a couple of choices. You can either select a T4 GPU, which is great for machine learning tasks, or what we're after, you can choose to switch to a 96 core CPU by selecting the TPU option. Click on the TPU option, then hit OK to apply the changes. What this does is migrate your server over to a much faster instance without losing any of your work or unsaved data. It's a seamless transition, and once it's done, you'll be working with some serious, powerful hardware. Now that we've upgraded the server, all that's left is to rerun the script we've executed earlier. Just head back to the code cell, press Ctrl Enter again, or just click the play button again and watch the magic happen. After a few moments, your server will be running on the upgraded hardware and we can double check everything by running NeoFetch against seed updated specs. Little disclaimer, it's not the same, the same link, you will have to redo the right click and open in a new tab to be able to actually access that 96 core server. So look at that, as you can see from this screenshot or from the screen share, we've got our hands on a massive 96 core CPU and 340 gigabytes of usable RAM. And the best part, it's completely free. How amazing is that? So I hope this guide helps you out. And if you followed along, you should now have access to an extremely powerful server without spending a dime. If you found this video helpful, please consider giving a huge thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Your, your support means the world for me and I really appreciate all the kind messages and feedback you guys sent my way. Let's hit that 10k subscriber goal together. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Have a great day. It's Foxy. Ciao bye. Mwah.